الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد one of the greatest things that a person can do one of the greatest ills and greatest sins that a person can fall into is shirk is worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or sharing associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and like this in their ibadah in their worship and of course the greatest thing that a person can do is worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's the greatest deed that you can do the the, the most the greatest thing that that we can do is worship our lord subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who created us the one who is the sustainer the one who provides for us and the one the only one who is worthy of worship subhanahu wa ta'ala and what we find in a beautiful hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam defines for us and emphasizes the importance of staying away from those major sins beginning with the greatest of them which is shirk is worshiping and associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any and all forms of polytheism this is shirk and this is incredibly important for us to remember at all times not just during the holy month of Ramadan but at all times and to advise our brothers and sisters in Islam to stay away because there are so many Muslims who have misconceptions because they have not studied their religion and they have they fall into shirk or they take shirk shirk lightly and i'll give you a real example 2 days ago during the evening i received a ride to my home from a taxi driver the brother who was from a muslim country and me being a muslim who had come to islam and now i've been muslim maybe 7 uh, 19 years alhamdulillah so my brother from another place from another country we began to talk about the differences between the muslims how the muslims had fallen into groups and i mentioned that this is a a, a terrible thing that uh the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned us would happen and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions all throughout the quran as well that the muslims would break into groups and this this is something not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but however it's something that will happen it's something that has happened and something that will happen until the day of judgment and my brother began to emphasize the point and or make a point and say that uh he said you know we all have mistakes and even those who make supplication because i mentioned sub, i said some people in the name of islam they supplicate to graves we began to talk about the extremists how the extremists do evil actions like blow up masjid like today in Pakistan 40 people were killed during the friday prayer they were killed during the friday prayer by possibly a so-called muslim who actually thought they were coming closer to allah and that this was some act of martyrdom so they killed believers on the holy day of holy month of ramadan on the holy day of uh, friday wa ayyadun billah so you can imagine this person how they're going to be resurrected in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for such a heinous act so i began me and the brother began to talk about this issue and then he be little or underestimated the fact that muslims uh actually worship graves i said this is an evil act and this is people who distort and hijack the image of islam and this and that and the other he said that person is not even a muslim He was mentioning another some other actions that uh these extremist acts that are happening in Afghanistan and and in Pakistan. He said they're not even Muslim. I said uh and what's even uh just as shameful is those people who actually say la ilaha illallah and they pray to the graves and and make to walk around the graves and they pray to their saints like Abdul Qadir Jailani like uh Tijani like many 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 other so-called saints and some of them were righteous people but the people took them as lords afterwards some of them were righteous as people worship Jesus and as people worship Muhammad alayhim afdal alayhim afdal salatu wassalam but this is not correct because all of shirk is evil all polytheism is evil any time you worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is shirk Anyone you worship besides Allah, anything you worship along with Allah 
is shirk, it's polytheism. And it's totally uh, against the Islamic principles of Tawheed, of mono, pure monotheism. So the brother began to argue and say, no, 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 they say la ilaha Allah. And I said, subhanAllah, are you telling me this is just a small... He said, they're just making a mistake. I said, are you telling me that this is a light mistake? That a person supplicates to the graves, to the dead people, who cannot benefit them, or nor benefit themselves? This is a light sin? This is just a mistake? He said, yes. I said, subhanAllah, those people are mushriks. Those people are uh, grave worshippers. They're pagans. They're not, no matter, even if they say la ilaha illa, that's not sufficient. If we look at the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, which will illustrate that for us, that a person who worships graves, who prays to the graves, prays to the dead, what distinguishes you between, what distinguishes your, your faith, the person who does this, and the people who go to the Pope and ask for his forgiveness, or the people who uh, ask the priest for their forgiveness, or use the priest as an intercessor. What's the difference? Or the people who take rocks and elephants and cows as sacred and worship them and pray to them and eat with them. What is the difference? So it's very important that we understand shirk and we stay away from it and we know that it's serious. And Muslims must study and learn their religion. Read the Quran and read the authentic sunnah of the Prophet and you'll see that all of those practices that people are doing in the name of Islam in fact contradict the asul, the essence, the foundation of Islam. Especially when you worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, anything or anyone. When Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal, qala rajulun, ya Rasulullah, ayyadhan akbar inda Allah, qala in tid'u lillahi niddin, wa huwa khalaka. Qala thumma ayy, qala in taqtulu, in taqtula waladaka, mukhafata an yat'ama ma'ak. Qala thumma ayy, qala in tuzani halilata, جارك فأنزل الله عز وجل تصديقها والذين لا يدعون مع الله إله آخر ولا يقتلون نفس التي حرم الله إلا بالحق ولا يزنون ومن يفعل ذلك يلقى أذاما In this hadith of Abdullah bin Mas'ud رضي الله تعالى عنه which verifies for us what we're just talking about a man came and said to the Prophet ﷺ, he said, O Messenger of Allah, which sin is greater to Allah? Meaning, what sin does Allah detest the most, which is, is the greatest sin with Allah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The Prophet Muhammad said, to, uh, to supplicate, to, uh, or to, to call upon a partner or associate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah created you. So meaning to give the right of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if you're sharing or making a, a, a tamthil or a, 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 some other uh, deity or entity that you believe shares uh, and should share worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you are taking the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is to be worshipped alone then the man said then what? and the Prophet sallallahu responded by saying to, uh, to take the life of your child out of fear of feeding him with you meaning of being fearful of poverty and uh, you know to, to kill you, take the life of your child. May Allah protect us from his evil sin. Then the man said, and then what? And the Prophet ﷺ said, to have, to commit adultery with your neighbor's uh, wife, basically. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the verse was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ from Allah, which verified this, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who invoke not with Allah any other God, nor slay such life as Allah has made sacred, except for just cause, nor commit fornication. And any that does this meets a severe punishment. 
So in this hadith narration, and in this verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the Qur'an, we see the importance of avoiding shirk. So that bring, begs the question, what is shirk? We have to know what shirk is. So we have to begin to understand that in any, any act of worship, that you share, that you associate, if you associate a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you worship anything along with Allah or anything besides Allah, this is shirk. This fits that prescription uh, that the Prophet ﷺ, this fits that, uh, what the Prophet ﷺ said as being one of the greatest sins. So any act of ibadah, act of worship, and yes, supplication is an act of worship. This is what is the strangest thing that some people believe that supplicating, when you supplicate, you're actually not worshiping. Or that they supplicate to the dead as an intercessor and that this is okay. This is okay. This is what they believe. How is it you can say, Lag, Lag, Allah, that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah? And then you pray to the grave, you pray to a dead man, or a dead woman, or a dead whatever. How is it that you can direct your worship to those people? And then there's people who are considered supposed ulama, they're scholars of, of evil, that substantiate this practice, and philosophize and try to justify the practice of supplicating to the dead. How is that you can call that Islam? That is a disgraceful and evil practice and an evil misguidance. And those people will receive a painful torment in the hellfire and the sunnah of evil that they started, they will carry that evil of, of continuing the practice of shirk, of worshipping graves and worshipping the dead. And in the name of Islam. So we see the severity of that. And how do we know that dua or supplication is ibadah? Because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in Sunan Tirmidhi, he said sallallahu alaihi wasallam, a dua hu ibadah. He said supplication is worship, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's an authentic hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the other sins that were mentioned in this hadith is that killing to kill your children, and the scholars deduce from this also aborting, having abortions out of fear of poverty. And then the next sin that was mentioned was committing adultery with your neighbor. And all forms of adultery, as was mentioned in the verse, are an evil, great sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala detests. And may Allah forgive us of all our sins and bless us to understand His religion and practice it in a manner that pleases Him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help the Muslims in every place to understand their religion and regain their honor and may Allah protect the honor and protect the lives and the property of the Muslims in every place in Syria where they're being slaughtered. May Allah lift the tyranny off them and in Yemen and in uh, Iraq and in Afghanistan and wherever the Muslims are being harmed and in Somalia where they're, they're, they're in famine. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Muslimin fi kulli makan wa sallallahu wa sallam